liberty and justice for all. Great. First we have attendance. So noted. Thank you. And is there any public comment from anyone other than somebody representing? No? So we'll close that. Next we have the minutes from the January 4th meeting. We've all had a chance to look them over. Unless there's any changes, I'd look for a motion. So moved. Moved by Clerk Brooks, Support by Treasurer Keeps. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That passes. So next we have site plan and special land use for 4036 uh, South Telegraph Road for Crumble Cookie. So we'll start where Wade will kind of present it and if you want to come up and add to it after. Yeah. Thank you, good afternoon. We have a request from Crumble Cookie to uh, seek approval Extend. with extended store hours at their existing location at 4036 South Telegraph Road. And the request is to operate from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Thursday, and from 8 a.m. to midnight, Fridays and Saturdays. The store is closed on Sundays. The master plan does uh, recommend commercial uses within this corridor. You can see on the screen, um, hopefully, <laughs> um, we, we went ahead and uh, provided a 500 foot radius of the uh, property itself. You can see it's a mixed, uh, mixed bag of zoning districts. You have O1, uh, you have OR1, you have B, um, B1s, and you have just a few uh, residential multifamilies, Devon Square, which is just south of the Kroger on Telegraph, and then you catch um, a single family residential lot up here along Mystic Valley Drive. So it is uh, predominantly a uh, commercial office use area right at the corner of South Telegraph and Long Lake Road, and the business being located in the stand-alone uh, retail building uh, right on the corner. The other tenants in there are Starbucks, uh, Rio Wrap, <coughs> a few others, there's a Brooklyn Bagel shop in there as well. So this uh, request uh, is first before the Design Review Board, being as that it is a uh, special land use request. It will proceed to the Planning Commission for public hearing as well as on, on to the Township Board. So the request again um, being to operate from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to midnight Friday and Saturday. We did have police, fire, and engineering review on the request uh, and there has not been any concerns expressed with the extended hours at this location. <coughs> There are no exterior modifications to parking spaces, to lighting, to anything like that. Um, it is just strictly a request for the hours to be extended. So happy to answer any questions. Rachel is here as well to provide a little bit more background into the business side of the request. So do you want to come on up, introduce yourself? Questions for Wade. Yeah. Um, what other extenu ex uh, after hours are have been approved in that? Better. Sure. So uh, we have the Starbucks that was approved to open at 5:30 a.m. And of course, this is a special land use request is uh, required for any business to operate earlier than 7 a.m. or later than 9 p.m. So Starbucks uh, for opening at 5:30. We have. Are they, are they open later than? They close at 7 p.m. Okay. And the Lifetime Fitness is open till midnight, uh, Monday through Friday. And Kroger is open till 10 p.m. Hungry Howie's across the street in Bonaventure uh, Plaza Shopping Center is also open till midnight, Fridays and Saturdays. Um, CVS next to Kroger is open till 10 p.m. So those are some of the immediate. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So the primary reason for our request is honestly the franchise um, side of it. Every crumble in the entire United States, and there's about 700 locations right now, operates under these exact hours, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday till midnight. Um, and so it's not anything that we really had any control over. And this is the only exception I'm aware of right now is th um, that we've been operating since October, closing at 9 p.m. every night. Um, so that's where the request is coming from. Um, primarily the 
business concept that we are is cookies. Um, I know a lot of you are familiar with it, but we just do a lot of gifting, late night activities after sporting events, after um, parties, events, whatever. Um, the reason that Crumble wants us to have longer hours is so that we are available basically all the time um, for our customers because we have a wide range of um, customers, young, old, um, you know, family, single individuals. And so we do see a spike in our sales, um, especially on the weekends on Friday and Saturday, um, coming up toward our closing hours um, and people we've had, have had some people express uh, frustration just that we're not quite, we're not open um, the same hours as the stores in Royal Oak or Novi or Rochester Hills, just because that's what they've been expecting. Um, but I do know that um, in the area so far, we've been well received by the community, which has been awesome, and we really like being here in Bloomfield. And so, um, obviously, we want to abide by the law. We want to be good, you know, citizens and business in the community. But um, that's kind of where where the request is coming from. So I'm happy to answer any other questions as well. If I might add just a quick uh, bit here too, I wanted to mention that the lobby area is 136 square feet, and that you do not have any indoor seating correct so it's strictly a, a pick up and take out so there's no official hanging sit out down, <laughs> yeah hang sit out. down yeah well our, our goal is to have our customers in and out within two to five minutes so questions one more note I forgot to add, we do a lot of DoorDash deliveries, and so a lot of those times are not necessarily customers coming into our store as much as they are um, dashers coming in to get, get orders and do a lot of delivery, again, especially on the on the weekends, so. Do you have any questions? Well, when you want a cookie, I guess you want a cookie. That's no, funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, um, uh, the only, we didn't mention it, but Pizza Populous, they, they have, Normal hours within their yeah. own they, ordinance, or yep, they are 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And normally, I'm not at all a fan of midnight, but these are all the same questions that we asked of another recent one that went up that does a lot of DoorDash and it's mm -hmm. in and out carry out. So it it seemed like a similar model that we just approved for someone else too. Yeah, and the only other thing I add to that is that in, in that instance there were no residential touches in yeah. this one there are but there's already hungry howies that, yeah. lifetime the same question brian asked i mean which too. brian hit on so yeah. i don't see how we do anything differently here right in this instance i may i would have been inclined to, to say no because it touches i was surprised actually that hungry howies and them were open till midnight because that was our first when they originally started advertising till midnight, I was like, okay, you guys got to go tell them they can't because yeah. you didn't have the approval yet. But then I was surprised to find out there were others in the area that had approval. I'm presuming that they do actually have approval, right? Hungry Howies and... Yes, and Starbucks has approvals. Um, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm going to make a motion to... Uh, to, to Approve the request and for the Planning Commission for consideration. Support by Clerk. <laughs> Motion by Clerk Brooks. Support by Treasurer Keeps. All in favor? All right. Aye. All opposed? That does pass. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next, we have are there any recent DRB approvals that we need to discuss? There have not been. Okay, so our next meeting date then is February 1st. Thanks, so. Thank you. Nice to meet you. So